The past couple seasons, people have kind of roasted me for enjoying the DG-56 and telling me this thing's useless. I disagree. Completely. Yes, it's not a meta anymore. But is it useless? Absolutely freaking not. Listen, you can argue with me in the comment section all you want. Tell me I'm stupid. Tell me I'm done. The stats don't lie. This thing is a very viable option for medium range engagements. Sharp. Long range engagements, it's definitely not as good as it used to be. But let's be honest, a lot of the gunfights in this game that you are going to be taking are going to be medium range gunfights. And as long as you're accurate, you can have the potential to get a one burst kill and at most a two burst. Make sure you guys are hitting your shots. And this thing is an absolute blast. I don't know the complaints. People could judge me once again. And that's completely okay. I love the DG56. My first attachment here is the Jack Glassless Optic. Just listen, I, I, you try it out. That's all I'm going to say. Normally, I would say it's a preference, but this does control fire aiming stability, which is shake on the weapon. And I do find that this is a very good attachment when it comes to that. So as always, you can run whatever you want, but at least give this a try. My next attachment here is going to be the high grain rounds to increase your damage range. One of the massive buffs, or I'm sorry, nerfs that the DG56 did get is the damage range. And by adding the high grain rounds, you are getting a 15% increase there, which is very, very effective to make up for what we lost well with the nerf. For the under barrel, we are using the paracord grip for horizontal recoil control, fire aiming, st or I'm sorry, sprint to fire speed, aiming on a sway, and aim walking steadiness. The big one here is the horizontal recoil control at 15%, but we are getting some other mobility and handling factors that do come into play quite nicely with this weapon. The muzzle you're gonna wanna run is the Zem 35 compensated flash hider to control more recoil control but also give you fire aiming stability so you have the muzzle here matched up with the optic and that's why it has very little shake and is very easy to hit your shots so you are going to get some recoil values here five percent to the horizontal 15 percent to the vertical but honestly more importantly is going to be the fire aiming stability and the final attachment here is going to be the cdg t25 light barrel to increase the bullet velocity and damage range along with that we are gaining even more mobility nothing crazy in the mobility side very small values but we're maximizing the damage range here with an additional 20 percent bringing the final value up to 28 meters which guess what like i said medium range gunfights that's where you're going to find the most success oh also i just wanted to prove some people wrong here because every single season i say it's a one burst people don't believe me guess what what does that value say 56 56 headshot that means it has the potential to three shot kill or one burst hit your shots i promise you a one burst man i'm a little spicy in this one kind of clapping back a little bit i like it you guys want me to argue with people more I mean, my name is Salty after all. I can get a little clap backish. You, you copy these attachments down and let me know. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy the rest of this down, make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me. As always, let's jump into the gameplay so I can show you. It can one burst and it's still very viable. Let's get into that. Hope you guys enjoy. It has been a long, long, long day of recording and we finally got the DG56. This should end my night hopefully of recording if i can end up getting this thing done i've been experimenting a lot with a lot of different weapons here oh this guy just opened the door on me i've been experimenting with a lot of different weapons the dg56 was another one that i've been playing around with mainly because this was one of my more popular videos actually last season, which is really weird. I've never really gotten video views on the DG56, but apparently people were at least a little interested in it last season. Oh, that was a god name. Okay. Gonna get this UAV called in right now because I'm not trying to get flanked. Look at that. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen happen. Teammate, you got the front push. They're gonna be in the doorway. Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic. Oh, I'm out of here. My team is pub stomping at the moment. They're all over there across the map. There's definitely a ghost user. I just killed my first teammate there that pushed through. That's him. No more UAV. But I do have the advance. This underbarrel is a game changer for this thing. I need to turn around right now. Out. 
Another one there. Peek it. Peek it. Thanks for coming, Dinklebird. Big fan. Big fan, Dinklebird. Get off me. I need the UAV now. I'm concerned about my back, actually. Good reason to be. Yeah, good reason. I just need to stay put. I'm just going to lay down. 26. I wasted that whole advanced UAV. Alright, we got it. Just in time to get absolutely bopped in the head by that BP-50. I gotta pay attention to some objective time here because my team is getting a little bopped here. They have a UAV. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Ooh, he's upset. There was a guy here. See, there he is. I'm behind him now, somehow. Here we go. There's a god nade. Where did I just get shot from? I got a nade for this push. Oh, we're getting bopped. Still gonna be here? Yes, they are. One kill for another Vietzel. I need to drop this VTOL right on the hill right now. Gotta get him off. I know there's a hole in this roof. That didn't hit. There we go. Looney Goon, you you gonna learn today, pal. I'm at 67. Oh my goodness, that's a five piece. Ah, you cunt. I'm with you. All right. They get close range of me. That's where I struggle. I actually struggle. One guy's going to try. Okay. That's a good grenade. Just hit me in the mouth with it. But we did just get a lot of good time there.
making the game last a little longer for us. Oh, me is got his camp spot on lock 81. That's a lot of them. I might end up having to hit the, uh, I might have to hit the MGB here because uh, I don't want to risk an L. I was hoping the game would last longer, but the other team's objective demons. All right, this is the got to be the last push. I got 25 seconds. All right. I'm dead. I missed my shots. I was hoping for a hundred there. Teammates are still holding it down. There's hope. Alright, 97. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to break this. I might just nuke it right now and just call it. Yeah, I'm gonna nuke it. I don't, if I choke, I'm not gonna have a chance to actually win this game, so. I'd rather just hit the nuke, make sure I secure the W versus choking it. All right, and that locks us in. 101. This guy's confused on what a nuke is. Oh boy. That felt good.